In this video, I'm going to show you the repeat syntax for defining a grid. The value of grid template columns or grid template rows is a track listing. So here we have three one fraction unit tracks. We can also use the repeat notation to define this pattern of tracks, which can be really useful if you've got a lot of tracks in your listing. So instead of doing this, we can say repeat and then inside the brackets how many times you want to repeat the pattern and what the pattern is. So in this case it's just one fraction unit and that gives us our three tracks again. You can have a track listing here, it doesn't just have to be one uh, kind of track so we could say repeat two, one fraction unit two fraction units and we end it with this. We've got two lots of this repeating pattern. The repeating section doesn't need to be the only part of your track listing. We could have a track before this section if we wanted. So now we've got a 100 pixel track and then our repeating section. So we still have the same listing, the grid doesn't change this just allows us to tidy up our track listings and for more complex grids that can be quite useful. It's much easier to see what's going on if it's a bit neater than if you've got a long string of tracks.